Hi, I'm Natasha Denona, and here I am today with Maya Ahmed. I'm going to create a beautiful look on Maya. I thought that the Biba palette, but the top row of the Biba palette would look the best on you because it's just you. I don't know. I mean, you. Well, it is wear... me. This is so me. This is so you. <laughs> yeah. Let's start. Okay, so your skin is already prepped mm -hmm. with foundation, foundation X plus. I will start with uh, Rustic. This is a medium metallic eyeshadow. Pretty kind of um, yellowish toned bronzish brown. Let's blend this. And I'm taking Freckle. Freckle is a, pre a matte press powder eyeshadow. It's pretty neutral and I'm just going onto the borders and with circular motions blending this upwards really in the in the natural position the deepest part of the socket okay now I'm with Tusk this will be a great transition shade for you because you have very fair skin great Okay, so to make it a little bit more interesting, I feel like picking up Prairie. Mm. This is kind of um, a mustard yeah. medium brown. And I want to blend this slightly further in. Okay, and this I'm going to blend also with a transition shade. Now for the center lid, I want to use Shine, the foiled metallic eyeshadow. Okay, I'm popping this onto the center lid. Foil on your eyelid. I'm so intrigued to just like grab a mirror and look. <laughs> okay, so I'm picking a little bit, again, rustic just for the transition. I just want to make a smooth transition between these shades. And then for the inner corner, I can use a third metallic eyeshadow, a lighter one, which is Monroe. And it turns their look into a glab look instantly. Um, now I want to go into the deeper shades. I want to emphasize your lash line. And uh, we'll pick a mini smudging brush. Firstly, I will take the black and then I will blend, blend the black with the dark brown. And this will instantly lift the eye. And then very, very thinly going in, pressing it in between your roots, the lashes. Keeping the outer third always thicker. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think your eyes are a dream for every style. <laughs> Thank you. I, I can imagine like a thousand looks on you now. Now, let's think. We have this medium shade here and we have the black here. So we need kind of an in-between shade to blend and connect between them. So I'm taking a dark brown and pressing this on top of the upper border of the black line. I took a fluffy uh, chisel brush and I'm picking up cocoa, which is also slightly lighter than seed, also kind of a transition between the dark and the medium. I'm kind of working this outwards and then up. Okay, so this last step is actually to pop a little bit of the rustic shade on the lower lash line. Look at please. Here, so it will connect our story. Yes. I applied mascara and that's the finished look of the eyes. And we're moving on to the glow. We need a glow finish for this skin, right? Um, you can apply the cream highlighter with your finger or just with a makeup sponge. It just gives the same effect. With the finger, you need to know how to blend better because the finger is smaller. But with a makeup sponge, you always, always 
sure and confidently um, blending out the harsh lines. So firstly, um, I mean, we didn't show today contouring and blushes, Yeah. but um, firstly I apply the contour, then the blush, and then on top the cream highlighter, and finishing off with the powder highlighter. Okay. This is like one, two, three, four. And then you can take a highlighting brush or a blush brush and pick up the highlighter in powder form. Just swipe it onto the cream and it's just like a magnet sticks to the skin. It gives us naturally beautiful glowing skin. This is the tan palette and it has also a bronzing blush yeah. so you can also use it as a bronzer, as a blush. Good, so we're good to go for the nude lipstick. I created 18 shades of the new I Need a Nude lipstick which uh, the concept was actually, um, you know, people wanted me to do a lipstick that is uh, a nude, but you know, one, two, three, four nudes is not enough for every yeah, person. Yeah, definitely so, not. Yeah. <laughs> There's never enough nudes. Exactly. Okay. That's why it's called it's a nude. You know enough. how we came to this name? It was so funny. We were in the lab. I'm sitting there, mm, looking at the colors. Mm, mm, I need a nude. And then it was like cracking up. It's like so funny. So when I developed this formula, they said, okay, you have to name this I Need a Nude. They even sent me a t-shirt with I Need a Nude on. So, <laughs> so I developed four different categories uh, with different undertones okay. to fit every single person. I want every single person to find her perfect nude. I would go for, let's see this one. This is a neutral pink. It's called Noah. Okay, so. Yes. Oh my god. JT. This is it? Do you want to see yourself? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ta -da. One, two, and three. Oh wow. I'm obsessed. Like, this is. These are my favorite colors, my favorite shades, from the lipstick to the shadows to everything. Oh my god. It's perfection. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so excited. Like, I'm gonna go out now Thanks. and flaunt this makeup around Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so thank much. You it for was such a me. pleasure. It's and you're an so honor. amazing. Thank you. And thank so you. easy. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye. Sephora, the unlimited power of beauty.